Hello, thanks for joining me. So this is just a quick tip, and it's really simple too. You guys probably already know this. You know, I've had this pile of RF adapters kicking around for years. I really could throw these in the trash can. I had found this uh, adapter here. This was in reference to uh, playing my Atari um, on uh, TVs here with a, with a clear picture. This is just an F-pin adapter to a regular RCA uh, adapter here. And uh, it worked great for my 7800 until I got it modded, and I didn't need this anymore. And I thought, well, what if I use this on some of these other systems? So I gave it a try here. You can see my Super Nintendo is hooked up with it right now. And this image is really almost uh, or arguably as good as this uh, AV uh, out on the Super Nintendo. Let's take a look. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, Super Nintendo with both of the outputs uh, hooked up. We've got the AV out and the uh, RF out. This is the RF here. And um, the one thing that I would say with it is you, you get a little bit of a uh, moiré pattern. You can see there in the, in the blue, mostly. That's really the only place that you see it. It's actually a little bit exaggerated on the camera, I would say. Um, but really, these are both... Um, pretty comparable images. In fact, if anything, I would say the uh, the RF image is a little bit sharper than the AV. Um, I wouldn't necessarily uh, say that I would run the, the RF image instead of the AV, but uh, take a look at the stars here. And take a look at the stars down here. I don't know if you can tell, but they're actually brighter and more distinct because of that um, that sharpness. So, I don't know. This is a, a really cool solution. And uh, especially on systems that don't have AV out as an option, or if you're just missing a, you know, an AV cable for the system, uh, I don't know if that F-pin adapter is going to be um, you know, easier for you to get or not, uh, especially in the day of eBay and, and things like that. You know, Those AV cables are not particularly expensive, but I was just really surprised at how comparable these uh, these two images are on this system. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, some some minor benefits to the RF out. I think it actually uh, is is really nice looking. Uh, but let's take a look at it on some of these other systems. Um, this is a super uh, sharp, really solid, really nice image coming out of here. And I guess it, you know this is especially in comparison to uh, how it is on those RF boxes. This is worlds better. So here, this is on the uh, NES. And you can see here, this is as good a picture as you're going to get out of a uh, an NES, I would say, with anything. These can be purchased uh, quite cheaply, and, and they're readily available here. You know, Radio Shack, uh, $3.69. You can just use, you know, any cable that you have kicking around. The one thing that I noticed, um, it did make a little bit of a difference between a couple of the cables that I had. One of them showed more uh, interference on here than another one. I swapped it out, and we're not talking like monster cables or something like that. These are just these regular cheapy crummy cable, but you might want to play around with the cables, and uh, it also, I think, makes a difference what system uh, it's coming out of. I only saw that uh, a Moiré uh, issue with the Super Nintendo. I didn't really notice that on the NES or the uh, the Super uh, or the uh, Sega Master System. So uh, something to think about. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, like I said, you you guys are probably old hats at this, but uh, I I was just playing around with my systems, and I'm like, okay, this is how I'm gonna hook up. Uh, you know, all these systems for uh, from now on. So um, that was all. I hope that you will join me again next time. Uh, thanks for watching.